I was able to have some uh, Epic Pursuit Rosé while I was doing this project. So it made for a really nice um, Saturday afternoon and um, it was a really nice uh, kind of crisp taste. 75 calories, had some notes of peach and mint and it was delicious. Um, highly, highly recommend with some raspberry in there as well. So, um, and it's actually a really good drink to do, use as a mixer. So if you want to do like a frozen rosé or um, something like that, it made for a really nice kind of base for that. So I'll talk to you all about the DIY, but I wanted to get on here and talk to you all about the Epic Pursuit first. So let's talk about the DIY project that I did and excuse the bare walls, but we just moved to um, a new home in Nashville and um, we love it so far. It is on the West End and it, it is an older home. So we will be doing a lot more DIY projects and um, you want to figure out what wall you want to use. So I use the entrance wall and complete com painted it completely white um, and I can actually link the color that I used. It's a nice crisp white. So I just basically did the entire wall. I wouldn't suggest that um, if you can use primer. I made the mistake of not and I also made the mistake of using a really small roller. So I'm not sure why I did that but um, get a decent sized roller and use primer. It makes for a lot easier of a job. So paint the wall completely white. Um, after the wall is dry and it's completely painted, uh, measure your, your wall from top to bottom. So mine ended up to be 96 inches which kind of worked out perfectly since the average panel length for shiplap is six inches and remember this is fake shiplap but we want to make sure that it kind of looks a little real in that sense so um what i did was measure from top to bottom six inches so at the every six inch mark i went um, and put a little notch there and i did it all the way up to the ceiling so for someone that's vertically challenged that was a little difficult so I recommend getting a stool if you're short <laughs> so i did that and um after I did that, this is where the love alert comes in real, uh, really handy and it's super important because you want to make sure that your lines are completely straight and not wonky at all. So um, you want to take your love alert where you mark the six inches and make sure that that bubble is right in between those lines so that it creates a straight line. Um, after that, you have it straight against the wall. Make sure that it's on there really, really tight and take your Sharpie and go all the way across and continue to, to do that down the line. Um, this is a simple job for one person. Um, I was able to do it, you know, just just me. Um, so it kind of, it was a really nice project to do and it looked, really, it came out really great. I decorated with different accents, put some green plants up there, some shelves and a mirror. And I really like the way that it came out. <laughs>